Okay guys, so today we're gonna do tuning in, subscribe, thumbs up if you like, and join the Facebook group. Let's do it. 234 palindrome linked list. Given a singly linked list, determine if it is a palindrome. What is a palindrome again? It's the if it's when you can read it both from left to right and from right to left. So here one two one and one two one are the same. Same thing here. One two two one and one two two one. Those two are palindromes. I've seen two approaches of solving this problem. I I prefer the second one. I think it's much more intuitive and easier, but I'm gonna just superficially explain the first one. The first one, you're gonna split it the link list into half and then you're gonna compare if both the left and the right link list are the same. This is kind of really, if you guys look it up on the discussion of this question on lit code, it's not that easy to do, it's not that straightforward. So I'm gonna explain a, a way that I prefer. I think it's much easier to visualize, to explain and to execute. So you're still gonna try to find the middle of the link list. And up to the point where you are in the middle, you're gonna push elements to a stack. So remember stack is like a pile of dishes. Whatever you put last in, is the first thing you're taking out, is the last in first out uh, data structure. And there is a really cool trick that we'll be using in a problem tomorrow that I, I hope you guys take out from this example, which is using two pointers, two references. One will be going one step at a time and the second one will be going two steps at a time. And if you make as a condition that it will stop going when runner dot next or when runner uh, are no, your current will be the middle element. So just to illustrate that, so this is had had is always going to be referencing the first element, and just to help help me represent this, current is a uh, I'm going to represent as uh, this thing here, this triangle, and runner as a circle. These are just random names I gave to a uh, reference. So f you start off by both pointing to whatever hat is pointing to. When you run this, you're gonna, you're gonna have a stack, a stack, and you're gonna push the value you're currently at, the current is currently point at, and push it to the stacks. So you're gonna push one, and then current will go, will move one, and runner will move two. So instead of going to two, we'll go here, right? Now runner dot next, which is the circle, is no. So we stop here and observe that current is pointing to the middle element. Now let's do the same thing, but instead of a, even, a not number of elements linked list, we'll be looking at a even. So same thing, had here, had. Uh, okay, and then, so we we'll start with this, this, Next it so we're gonna push one as well. Then current will go here and runner will go here. We raise this and you push whatever current is pointing at to the stack. Now current goes here, next iteration and runner is goes to no because that's what the last element is pointing to. That's our stack for this element. And uh, so just to represent this, so runner will be pointing to no. To no. Okay. 
So current runner is uh, pointing to no, current is pointing to two, and here current is pointing to two. But what we want is current being pointing to the second half, second half of the link list. And two is not the second half, it is the middle element. We don't have a problem in an even number list, so four elements, six, eight, because current will fall in the first element of the second half. Observe that two is the first element. If we divide this by two, two is the first element of the second half. This is not the case with an odd numbered element. Two is the middle. So that's what this condition is doing. So if runner different from none. So runner in an even counted link list will always be pointing to none. If it's not, it means it's odd. And if it's odd, we advance current one one uh, node ahead and now now current will be pointing to the first element and of the second half of the link list why do we have to do that because now i'll give us an example of this second link list we're gonna start popping the the popping the stack so popping means taking out and comparing to current. If they are equal, we move forward and keep comparing. If they are not equal, it means it's not a palindrome. And in order to do this comparison, we have to be at the second half of the link list. So for example, two and two are the same. So uh, we keep comparing, we pop it from the stack and we move current forward. I'm gonna do this in code in just a second. Uh, now one and one are the same. So we, you pop one and you move current. This doesn't matter, you move current. And current will be none and we stop the comparison. It means it is a link list, so it is a palindrome. So that's what we're gonna do. That's the overall idea of what we're gonna do. So first we're gonna create current and runner which will be those two references and we're gonna do start a stack in python you use a, an array as a stack okay now while runner different I'll, I'll, instead of writing this from now on i'm gonna just write this it's the same thing and same with this instead of starting this just gonna write like this so stack we push it to the stack and we move current one node forward and runner two nodes forward now we're gonna check for the if runner not none which means uh it's an odd number of of nodes like here like this example so so runner is not no here in the even count it's no we'll move current forward in order to be on the first element of the second half of the link list now we're gonna start popping things from the stack until current is none and if current dot val is different from what we pop from the stack it means it's not a, a palindrome so we return false and we move the reference forward and if we if current is none and we didn't return false it means we have a palindrome so we return true so let's test 22 i forgot the two dots you gotta wait a little bit one two three blah 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 okay accepted so a pretty neat problem i like i like this this technique of using two pointers we're gonna be using tomorrow as well with a link list problem to check if a link list has a cycle so the takeaway I want you guys to remember is using two, two nodes to uh, find the middle element of a linked list.
the middle element of a linked list. Tomorrow we're gonna use the same technique with a different purpose, but the technique is the same thing, so remember it. So again, subscribe, give me your feedback. I really enjoy having people showing that uh, these problems are helping them out. One of my pro friends actually did a, a coding interview where they asked one of the questions that I that I talk about in the channel and I was super happy that it helped him out. So a big shout out to Marco, my good friend. And if you have any questions, send it to me and that's it guys, let's keep coding.